Hello everybody, welcome to my first album review, uh, it's also my first first impression video um, on the channel. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to start to do more of these because uh, I, f I feel like that would kind of be my niche, is music and listening to it and giving you my thoughts and opinions on it before they get changed by like uh, other reviewers because I feel like I do that all the time, like I listen to music. I think it's good, and then I hear somebody else say it's shit, and I'm like, eh, I can see where you're coming from. So I just want to give you my raw opinion of music that I hear. We're starting off strong with Circles by Mac Miller, obviously. The first posthumous, post posthumous, whatever word that is, um, work of art from Mac Miller. Uh, I still remember exactly who I was when Mac passed away, or when I got the news that Mac passed away. Uh, I was in my school in the hallway. We were getting ready for a football game, feeling good. Uh, and then one of my boys told me, yo, Mac Miller died. I was like, you're lying. And then I checked Insta, and that was the first thing that popped up on my feed was like, I think it was XXL, or uh, it was one of those like big rap pages. It said Mac Miller passed away. I was like, damn, that, you just don't expect it until it happens. And he was like one of the last ones that I expected to, because you know, you know a lot of rappers that like don't take care of their bodies whatsoever, and you're like, eh, I can, I could, I, I would understand if they passed away, like with all the drug abuse and alcohol abuse that um is like popularized in today's music. Um, but yeah, uh, Mac was unexpected, definitely. Um, I was a big fan of Mac. Uh, Swimming was a great album. Uh, Nike's on my feet still one of my favorite songs what I'm expecting is depressing uh, based off of the album cover and the name circles I'm thinking like maybe um, circles is in like um, repetition uh, feeling like I'm going through the same thing every day uh, maybe uh, yeah so let's start it with circles Okay, so I think I think I was correct. Um, the song was very slow and like it. It was kind. Of, it was depressing, but it was like it was kind of like a walk through the forest. So that's what I was gonna say before he started singing. Was like that first thirty seconds just sounds like a walk through the forest. Mm. It was very slow. Maybe like maybe trying to be like um that's how the days feel slow and repetitive I, I don't know uh pretty good though there was a bar in there that uh was like take don't put no don't put too much stress on yourself it's one day at a time or something like that i was like oh damn oh kind of hit me hard uh but let's go on to the next track complicated oh. Okay, 
So that was a interesting track. Um, when I first the first second, I was like, okay, that's a mean switch up. Uh, went from circles that was completely like somber and like, and then complicated. Start with the like that upbeat. It honestly sounds like a Khalid track. Like the back track sounds like a Khalid track, and then he's just Max uh, talking about like the complications of life and like focusing. I'm getting this theme of like focusing on one day at a time, um, before worrying about the future, um, which is a good way to look at life, uh, um, and feeling like he's uh, he's old but he's young, um, be- maybe being like wise or like with the rap lifestyle, thinking like all the stress is killing him i don't know that that's what i'm getting from it uh but pretty good pretty good on to the next one blue world Okay, uh, another flip. This album so far is like a roller coaster. Circles was depressing. Complicated was like the lyrics were like, I felt like the lyrics were depressing, but or not depressing, but like not like it wasn't upbeat at all. Um, but like the back track was very upbeat. And then Blue World, that sample at the beginning was awesome. And then the switch to the beat, the beat itself is sick as fuck. Um, and then Blue World, like, the lyrics itself were, like, pretty. He's talking about, like, not letting the devil come in, come inside. Um, uh, the world making him crazy. Uh, not kissing any babies. I don't know what that's a reference to. Um, maybe somebody can comment down below what that's a reference to, because I am i didn't really understand that part. Politics ain't kissing no babies. Maybe that's, like, a... Is that like a um? Is that like a what was Obama's VP? Um, cause he like was he got caught kissing like children or whatever. It probably is about that. Maybe that's what that's about. Uh, so I do understand that then. Um, but yeah, that was that was a good track. Um, a lot more upbeat. See, the next one's good news. I've already heard it. It's good. It's ew. I was like drooled. Um, is it is good. Um, it is six minutes though. I don't know if I want to go through and re-listen to it. I've already heard it a couple times. I've already listened to it plenty of times. Good track. Um, that it 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 did give me like an introduction into the album out what I was supposed to be expecting. Uh, and it's pretty much what I was expecting from the album. Uh, and so far it's delivered. Um depressing it's all about life and like uh complications of life and um feeling like life is a constant repetition a circle um and just going through the motions every day uh and worrying about one day at a time so yeah good news is a good track though um so far my favorite tracks probably blue world so far but we're only fucking four tracks into it I can see I can see Thank you. 
Now, don't call me crazy, but I think this song is about God. Um, and why I say that is because he says God in the song. It's, it was like, uh, your God doesn't wait for anybody, or God doesn't wait for anybody, or something. It was something on those lines. Um, and he's asking for something he can see. Maybe he's like, he wants proof that he exists that's kind of what I'm taking away from it and then he talks about life being a dream and so are we um life's a dream until you wake up and shop I think that's what he I think that's what he said um I was either that or get shot <laughs> but I but I think it's I think it's shop I don't think it's get shot um that's what I'm taking away from the song though is it's religious and maybe about his beliefs yeah, it was it was very like I felt like I was on a wave the whole song. I was like, mm -mm, show me something, show me. It was really good though. So the next track is everybody. Oh my god. That was so good. Ooh, that was so good. That's that's my favorite song so far, easily. It um, I don't, I don't know why, but it really reminds me of the so many dumb ways to die, dumb ways to die. Uh, uh. Like that that sounds so much like this. Um, but that was so that's so good. I don't really have any takeaways from it. It just kind of sounds like a like a anthem. Uh. Everybody want, everybody gonna die. Everybody wanna live. You already know the reason why. Like that, that that's just good. It's just a feel good song. Um, ooh, that was, that was beautiful. Uh, that's definitely about a relationship. Uh, definitely. Uh, I kind of got lost, so I think it was about a, a weak relationship, maybe a broken relationship. Um, I kind of got lost in the words, though, towards the beginning, and towards the middle, I mean. Um, So yeah, I think it's about a week relationship. I have to listen to. It. I'd have to listen to it again to get the full. B 
be be able to like fully tell you what I think it was about. That's what I got off the first impression. <sighs> so the next one is uh, the next the next track is Hand Me Downs. Let's go. We're almost done with this album, and it's it is not disappointed so far. My favorite is still uh, Everybody. That shit's so beautiful. Um, mm, I, ooh, that, oh, that was good. Okay, wow, that was so good. Oh my god, that okay, that and that and everybody are my two favorite songs at the moment. Um, I don't know, I didn't even know there were gonna be features. I don't know who the hell that feature artist was. Uh, I feel like he killed this shit though. Um, I don't know who it was because there's no featured name on it. Uh, yeah, he, I think he did his shit. Um, Max verses were beautiful. Uh, it feels like, um, well. At first, I was thinking, oh, maybe, because the chorus, I was thinking maybe, like, uh, he's talking about, like, let's, like, establish ourselves and have a family. Um, and then Max said something about, like, until we meet again. And then the chorus hit. I was like, so is Max Lover, like, what, at the time, was Max Lover, like, like not his lover? Was she dead until we meet again? Usually when people say that, they mean, like, so we meet again, like, in heaven or whatever you believe in. Uh, so that's oh, that's so sad. Uh, that's so beautiful though. Um, wow, I was vibing hella to that. Um, that was so sad though. Um, I just realized there's only two explicit songs in the whole um, album, so I'm guessing Blue World was pretty upbeat. Uh, so I'm guessing Hands maybe. I wasn't expecting any, like, bangers, obviously, off this album, but, um, it'll probably be between Blue World and Hands, uh, but the next track is That's On Me. <laughs> I like that one too. Uh, that one was really good as well. Um, so I'm getting from this was uh, Mac. Mac made a mistake. Uh, I'm feeling relationship based um, because at the end he says, "Don't stick around." Uh, something about beating Tom Brown or something like that. Beating in the ground, beating Tom Brown, I, something like that. Um, so maybe like Mac is like, "I'm not. I'm not good for you." And like all my relationship uh, problems are on me, uh, and it's my fault that this relationship doesn't work. Um, that's what I'm getting from it. Uh, yeah, that's that's 
That was really good. Though. Like the chorus. That's on me. That's so catchy. That's my fault. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, next song, Hands. Uh, see, I got work in like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to um, amp these uh, songs out. Um, we only have two left, anyways. After that, uh, hands was definitely like a, a happier one. I, I didn't. I really didn't get like a. I wasn't really getting like a a main message. Uh, chorus was like, don't. It was like, treat yourself. Stop. Um. Stop. Like. Stop. Um. Stop beating yourself up. Um, I, I remember the one bar was like, if somebody, he's like, if if somebody hit me off my high horse, I'd probably fall and die or something like that. So Mac, uh, Mac maybe thinks he's above other people. Um, his ego is big. I don't know. Uh, I don't really. Nah, I wasn't really getting a message from that. So it's still pretty decent. That. Yeah, I like that. I like that uh, sample. Whoa, outfit change. Okay, yeah. So I had to go to work. Um, but we're just gonna start where we ended yesterday with Sir. Beautiful track, kind of long. Uh, that and good news are around the same uh, length. Um, it's pretty good though. Um, a little bit more. It wasn't a beat, but it was like uh, it was like vibey. Uh, definitely not like as somber as some of the other songs. But um, let's go to the next one, the last track, "Once a Day." <laughs> Wow, um, that was beautiful. Uh, this will most obvi like obviously this will most likely be, um, Max last album. Uh, so what a way to end it. Um, unless his management is just gonna like drop like a lot of his unfinished songs. Um, which I don't think they will do. Um, first of all, I want to say, uh, Max team, uh handled this a lot better than some other noticeable uh um some other noticeable uh artists that have passed away um i don't even have to i don't have to say i don't you guys already know what i'm talking about um yeah that was beautiful though none of it felt um unfinished the only thing that sort of threw me off was like some of the songs had some really long uh outros um so i don't know if that was a part of the unfinishedness or if that's how it was intended to be um for example surf the last like minute was just instrumental which is it wasn't a bad instrumental so i mean it's, i'm not complaining but i don't know if that's a part of the unfinishedness 
or if like songs were actually left out uh but for the most part i feel like that was a pretty finished project um so yeah um some noticeable favorite tracks just through the first listen uh everybody is so good that was such a good song hand me downs whoever that feature artist was i don't know who that is uh killed his shit mac did his shit and then that's on me probably um or both all three beautiful songs um hmm that's all i have to say uh good album i'd probably give it just through the first listen probably like an eight and a half out of ten um weren't really any songs that i was like god i want this to be over uh they're all pretty 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 good um yeah thank you guys so much for watching um comment down albums that you want me to review or listen to that i might not have listened to because there's a lot of albums i don't listen to um so just comment down below what you want me to listen to and review but thank you guys so much for watching uh and i will see you in the next video bye